Okay, gang, we've talked a lot about pressuring your leaf foot in golf YouTube world, but have you ever thought about pressuring your trail foot and how that affects your ability to rotate and move through the shot? Bet you haven't. So before I give you the secrets, like and comment below, tell me what you want to see, what do you want to hear, and how can I best help your game? And with that, let's talk about the back foot boogie and get you hitting the ball a little bit better, a little more solid. Let's go to work. Okay, crew, anytime I start talking about using the feet, I love using these smart to move force pedals. They are fantastic to giving you the neurofeedback out of the ground that you have to have to hit quality golf shots. So here's how they work, right? There's a softer one, harder one. I like using the yellow hard one outside because this ground's a little softer, so the soft one doesn't quite feel the same as the yellow hard one. But here's how it works, right? We talk a lot about how to move through the shot, and everybody's worried about getting under their front foot. Don't get me wrong, you gotta go left. Hear me out. Justin Thomas is 99% on his right toe when he hits a driver, and his left foot is actually off the ground. So how does somebody like JT defy the laws that he's not 80% on his left foot as he hits a driver shot? Let me tell you, right? He's using his trail leg. Now, the difference is tour players get to their left side a lot faster than amateur golfers. So they already hit their left foot pressure early, and they're actually reversing into that right toe as they start to create rotation and then finish with that right leg push to get their verticals, as well as their left foot. Don't tell me wrong, left foot's still doing jobs. We just have different tasks for different feet. So here's how the right foot works. When we're talking about using our feet, the front foot and right foot relationship are inversed. So when I get going in the backswing, I feel like I'm on my left toe, right heel, but more on my right side because I'm moving to the right. And then I switch to right foot, left heel. This works because of the way my pelvis is rotating. Then the thing that's hilariously funny to watch is you can YouTube a guy that slips on a bed of ice as he falls through the ice. But when you watch his downswing start, you'll see his front foot move forward, his back foot slide backwards, and that's when he falls off balance and falls to the side on his right side. You've never seen anybody lose their grip going this way with their right foot as they try to drive their pelvis. That's because of ground reaction forces. As I try to push my foot backwards, my right pelvis moves forward in that motion, which is why if you're trying to increase rotation, in my opinion, it's really hard to pull the left foot, push the left foot in such a way to get the left hip to go back. It needs two points. You need to have pressure on both feet in order to create the torque. So you have to be on that lead foot, but as that lead foot pushes up and away, that right foot has a job to finish the turn and drive the right side through the shot. And a lot of people forget about that. And I'll see the back foot draggers doing that move, or I'll see the pretty boy toe tap finish too early. So use the pressure in that back foot. So what you do is you set the pedal to where the ball of your foot is just slightly inside so you get good shin angle, right? So your shin's running inside of your right knee. So that from here, going to the inside of the foot. And that way, when you start the downswing, you've already got pressure on that lead foot. This can help you push that side. And then as you finish that shot, you feel that right leg straighten out, extend the pelvis up and to the target. And if we do all those things, we should get a nice powerful shot. So we wanna cover that left, right movement correct. So again, we'll just cover it one more time. Go to left toe, right heel. You can see I pick up both sides. That says my pelvis turns to the right. I reverse field, right toe, left heel as my pelvis moves to the left. And remember, as I'm pushing my body around, my pelvis is responding in the opposite direction. So as I push my foot back, my pelvis is gonna go forward. And that's what this whole pedal is gonna do for us. So again, we get set up on it with the ball of our left foot, or sorry, ball of our right foot planted. And then as I start to create force in that downswing, I wanna feel that right foot pushing to finish my extension on the downswing. Now part of it is if I could, it helps me keep my knee inside my right foot, that'll help me get left sooner as I start my hit. And then as I start to push my left foot away, or sorry, start to push my, my left foot to push my pelvis away, the right foot comes in at the end and powers through and gives us that last little speed boost at the very end. And it should look a little something like this. Hopefully this tip helps you guys get through your pelvis rotation a little bit better using that trail foot to push through that shot. 
Either way, let me know what you want to hear and see down below. I'd love to help you guys get better at your game. Matt, out!